Hi everyone, it's the English Summer here, and today I have a very, very special video for you all. It is Let's Play The Sims 4. This is just a teaser, as the full game is not yet out. It comes out September the 2nd for Americans, and then a few days after will be European and Australian release dates and things like that. So this is just a teaser of what you can expect to see on my channel once the full game comes out and I can just dive into it and show you guys everything there is to know. So if you follow me on Twitter or stuff like that then you may have realised that I was in Germany um, Monday and Tuesday and this video was meant to be up a little earlier but I overslept because it was a whirlwind journey. We were only there for two days and we were invited by EA UK to go and play the game for four hours at EA Germany, which was so kind of them and I just have to thank everyone who gave me this opportunity because it was great. And this was because I went to Creators Camp and we were able to take 10 minutes of game footage. However, my game footage and quite a few other game people's games footage was corrupt so it was all blurry, it would black out and things like that and we just couldn't use it. So. EA just got rid and said, look, why don't you come over to Germany, we'll let you film 20 minutes of gameplay, which is incredible, that's like a short part of a let's play. So that is what I did, I tried to make it as interesting as I could, it might not be natural to hear a voiceover instead of like live play because I obviously recorded the game and my voice separately because I didn't have my microphone and things in Germany. So, sorry if you hear that, but I just wanted to get this out to you. This is like a let's play part. I wanted to focus on things that I found entertaining whilst playing the game. So you will see a couple of hiccups as this is not the full version. We didn't play the brand new version of the game. We played um, a, a early form of the game. So if you do see a few hiccups or things like that, a little bit of bugs, then don't worry, the full game will be ironed out and I hope those things won't affect that actual game. So just ignore them if you see them. There are a couple here and there but don't worry about them. I hope you all enjoy this video and right now we are just gonna hop into gameplay. Here we are in The Sims 4 and as you can see from that notification in the top right that just disappeared, Emma is about to burst. So she is pregnant and she is currently in labour. So this means that it's time for her to give birth. She is still in her everyday wear as Sims in The Sims 4 do not have maternity wear, they just wear their everyday wear. And basically pregnancies can last anything between three to five days I think. The longest was five days I saw at Creators Camp. And she'll just try and calm down and relax a little bit while she's in labour. She's not actually giving birth yet. That happens in the last hour of labour. Here we have Tom and his daughter Lily. Tom is Emma's husband and this is Lily. So we're going to have Tom talk about his dreams to Lily because he is currently inspired. And if you saw that little light blue slither near the interaction, that means that it's an interaction that is unlocked by the emotion. So your sim will have all these different interactions for different emotions. And as you can see, Lily sat down, the TV is on, Emma is also playing the iPad and they're all in a group conversation with, e with each other which is a really cool feature of The Sims 4. Down here are the needs and Emma's emotion right now is very uncomfortable so we're going to try and make her as comfortable as can be. We're going to have her sit there and watch some TV which is Sims 3 if you notice that. It's so weird seeing The Sims 3 on a TV and not playing with them but it's so cool and it really is the next step in The Sims journey which is awesome. She's also feeling good so she has these happy emotions as well but because her labour is the most dominant one she is feeling uncomfortable. 
This is Tyler Posey, he is our teenager, and we're going to have him make some drinks because I want to get his mixology skill up so that he can get a part-time job. There are quite a few part-time jobs on offer, which I will show you guys now. So we're going to have him find a job once he has finished making that drink. And he has actually acquired the mixology skill. And as you can see here, Emma is panting and puffing away. So we're going to have Tom, the oblivious father, actually ask what the baby's due date is, as if he couldn't see that his fiancé or wife was already in labour. And he's pretty excited that she just told him, well, the baby is probably coming any second now. And she's pretty angry that he didn't know by the looks of it. So we're going to go have this baby at the hospital and Tom is going to come with us. I haven't had a baby at hospital yet on The Sims 4 so this was kind of a good thing to see and I wanted to show you this. So Emma is having a baby so they're gonna head over to the hospital and I guess we'll stay in the house with Tyler and Emma. So Tyler's still over here mixing drinks and trying to get his mixology skill up a little bit and congratulations it's a boy i had already played this part at creators camp i wanted to film it again so we are once again going to call him buster if you watch my creator sim video for the sims 4 you already know buster and this is his crib so I know a lot of people were worried about babies in The Sims 4 and how we can't really move around with them, but I think they're absolutely adorable. The limbs that they have and the facial expressions and everything are super cute. And yes, they do stay in this crib, but look at how cute he is. He is so adorable. So we're gonna have Emma come over and rock him and then we'll cuddle him and then we'll bounce with him and these are just the choices really that you have to interact with your baby they're all really cute we'll make a silly face to him as well we'll just get to know the new addition so she's just gonna come over here and pick him up and give him some love because who wouldn't do that he is so adorable in the beginning of this video I showed you a really funny screenshot of him it kind of looked a bit evil but he is a cutie so she's just going to interact with her new baby boy and as you can see from Lily's picture down at the bottom, her background on her portrait is currently blue and she's walking with her head facing the ground. So she doesn't look very happy but we're going to have Emma breastfeed which is a new interaction that came with The Sims 4 and I am so glad that they decided to add this feature. It gives a little realism. So now we are going to look at jobs for teenagers. We have babysitter in which you get paid to play with kids and keep them safe and all that. We have barrister which if you love hanging out at the coffee house and already know all the fancy drink names, why not get paid for it? Fast food employee, earn a little spending money serving food for people you know. Retail employee which basically gives you a career in sales from creating displays to disarming customers and manual labourer in which you're young and healthy so you get paid by people who aren't. But I chose to give Tyler the barista Gosh. career because I felt like he would be good at it. He's kind of already into mixology because his dad is a mixologist, well wants to be a mixologist and currently Lily is up here crying to herself because she is sad. She has a new sibling that she didn't want. Lily is very emotional. We're gonna let her cry it out in her brother's room but she is not a very emotional sim. She gets angry quite easily and I just wanted to let her know that it was okay to cry it out. This was a really funny option. When I saw it I cracked up and it was something that I hadn't seen at creators camp so we're gonna have her come and talk and hug her big fluffy unicorn over here because these giant co toys give her comfort and we're also let gonna let her give herself a pep talk so hopefully she'll become a little happier once she pumps herself up but she's talking to uni the unicorn 
And this has made her happy because she has a big furry friend to talk to, which is great. However, she is feeling still a little bit sad because obviously she didn't want Buster. So we're gonna let her come outside and play on the monkey bars, maybe just to take her mind off that annoying little brother she didn't want. She was the youngest of the family, of course she wants to stay the youngest of the family, she doesn't want a new baby taking all her attention. Tyler's over here, currently talking to his dad, and just having a casual discussion. However, I wanted to show you guys this feature in which teens can ask about woohoo. So Tyler gets all awkward and he's kind of like, what does this mean or when does this happen? And his dad gives him the talk. And if you've ever had the talk, you know that is an awkward feeling. So to move on from that awkward conversation, we're going to have Tyler express his admiration for his dad, and we're also going to have him do an impression, just to maybe take away the awkwardness. Lily is just out here, still feeling sorry for herself that she has a new baby brother, and she's just playing on the monkey bars. She's pretty out of breath because she's just been swinging around, but she looks fairly happy even though she's feeling quite sad. Hopefully her sad emotion will go away soon, maybe she'll get a little bit used to her younger brother. And Emma's happy because she's got a new baby, and she's also feeling quite inspired. So we're going to have her come up here, and we're going to have her play some guitar, because when she's feeling inspired, her guitar skill will actually go up faster than usual, which is really good if you have musical sims because once they feel inspired, their skills will just rock it completely. And Tom's feeling fairly confident in himself. Tyler's here trying to have a conversation with him and he's just there like, he looks like he's checking himself out in the iPad. I doubt he is, but that's definitely what it looked like he was doing. And Lily's obviously going to go cry it out again. I wish she would book up. <laughs> she is just not feeling great today. Oh, there we go. Now that she's cried it out, she's feeling happy. I'm really glad that she's feeling happy now because I don't like seeing my sims ha sad. The way they walk around when they're sad is adorable and especially the little girls and boys. They look all grumpy. So we're actually gonna have Tom quit his job. He's currently a secret agent and I didn't want him in that career choice anymore. So we're just gonna go ahead and quit. So he quit his current job and we're going to have him find a new one because he is quite good at mixology and he does want to be a mixologist. So I chose that we were going to go into the culinary career. However, I'll just give you a quick glance of the rest of the careers, but we are going to go into culinary as you can branch off into a mixologist, which has been his career, uh, his aspiration for a while and that's what we want. You can also choose new aspirations anytime in The Sims 4 without paying any reward points for it, which is really cool. So if your sim gets bored of their aspiration, you can just change it at any time and try and max them all out if you want to. Lily's up here watching her mum play guitar. I love that they have guitars still in the base game of Sims 4. I seem to have this trend when a new Sims game comes out, I always make at least one of my Sims musical because I feel like it's a really cool aspect of the game and seeing the skill points with guitars and other musical instruments is really really interesting. And Buster's just down here in his crib. I thought it was hilarious that he spawned near the bar and his dad's just casually making drinks whilst watching a baby. That I felt I found that hilarious when I was recording this. I was just like, how how can he mix drinks and be a responsible father whilst a baby is there who has only been born today? And then I decided that we would send Tyler out. So we're going to travel and I decided that we would actually go to the park because one of the main differences I noticed in The Sims 4 from The Sims 3 is that public places are packed. 
In The Sims 3, there would only be a couple of Sims dotted around. However, in the new game, there are so many people and everyone wants to interact with each other. So, we're going into neighborhood right now. As you can see, the loading screens do not take that long whatsoever. This is actual gameplay footage, so this is what the real game will be like when it's released. And it's really nothing much. I know that a lot of people didn't want to go back to loading screens, but I feel as if it helps the game as a whole. You don't have to wait for things to render and load on the lot. You just wait for one simple loading screen and everything's done. And as you can see, Tyler's already making friends with this guy over here. He wants to do the achievement introvert, which means you have your sim do nothing sociable for 24 hours. And personally, I don't think I could do that achievement. I love my sims being sociable and just meeting people. And look, there's Mortimer Goth and Cassandra in the background. And also over here, the kids are playing on the playground. Alexander's over here currently fighting pirates or something but we're gonna have Tyler give Cassandra a little friendly introduction because she is a teenager and we don't have that many friends really. Tyler is yet to go to school so we want him to get to know Cassandra a little better whilst Alexander's just completely ignoring her and walking away. So she's gonna wait for Tyler to come over and give her a friendly introduction and they don't know each other yet so we want to change that and maybe get a little flirty with her if we can, if that's an option. We're just gonna get to know her at first though because I feel as if, if we flirt we might be coming on a bit too strong. We're also going to Give her a heartfelt compliment. Oh, what's he doing? He is completely checking himself out. He just took a selfie. You know that for sure. And he also acquired the charisma skill so he can start working on his charisma. We're just going to carry on with the friendly and funny interactions because we want to get her to know her. So why not tell a joke about monkeys? Who doesn't love monkeys? And then we'll have a good old goof around. She seems to like us. We're making her laugh, which is always a good thing. If a guy can make you laugh, then that's pretty good going on him. He deserves a pat on the back because I, my sense of humor is crazy. We're also going to try and get a little bit flirty with her. Ooh, will this work? Will Cassandra accept a compliment? Who knows? He is insane, goofball and gregarious, which are quite good traits. They're pretty friendly, so hopefully they will get on. But she looked like she accepted the flirtation, I think. I'm pretty sure she accepted that flirtation just then. So we're gonna try and get a little bit more romantic. No, Tyler, don't go for a barbecue. See, this is the problem with boys, always thinking about food. So we're going to compliment her appearance because, you know, she is a cute sim and we're gonna ask if she's single. We don't wanna flirt with her if she's already got a boyfriend because that's just a waste of time. Why would we do that? We're gonna flirt with her because she is single, which I kind of already guessed because she's the only teenager, so there's not too many of us around. I don't think so anyway. And we're gonna give her a little pickup line. We'll see if Tyler's smooth enough for a pickup line. I doubt he is. He seems a little bit goofy. So I think it's time maybe that we make a move. We're sat on a bench, we're alone, even though her little brother's watching us. Oh. Oh, here he goes. Oh, he did the classic yawn and lean over. And she looks like she's enjoying it. She definitely looks like she's enjoying it. And the tickle mercilessly is so funny. And look at Mortimer. He saw Tyler flirting with his daughter and ran over here and just was like, Whoa, go on, Cassandra. <laughs> Which is really funny. It's things like that that get me in this game. So Tyler's also gonna tease flirtatiously, so they kind of just giggle about things. And Cassandra seems to be lapping up this attention. She seems to be loving this. 
they got up to go somewhere, but we're going to reveal our crush, which is most likely Cassandra, I'm guessing, considering she's the only sim we have romance with, and she seemed to enjoy that. Like I said, she seems to be happy that we're giving her all this attention. So as we are in the flirty mood right now, we can give her a rose, which is a really cute thing. I think if a boy personally gave me a rose, I'd possibly faint in his arms because I find that adorable. However, Cassandra doesn't want it and she's just like, I can't believe you just did that. That is so awkward. And poor Tyler looks so upset that he just got turned down and he's feeling embarrassed. So he's going to try and share his insecurities with Cassandra. He's like, look, I know you just turned me down and I know you don't like me, but come on, I'm feeling insecure. Just please, just take pity on me. <laughs> and Tyler... I don't know, he's just his- th this is one of the things I love about emotions. They make your sim like do some hilarious animations and they are their own people in this game. They each have their own personality. Like I said, Tyler seems to be the goofy type of teenager, the one who doesn't get with girls that easily. We we're back to square one with Cassandra really because she just doesn't want to accept our flirtations. This is like a teenage love story gone wrong. Look at how sad he looks, bless him. He's just like, the love of my life just walked away from me and now I have no one. So that's the end of this part guys. Th this was just a teaser and I hope you all enjoyed it. I enjoyed playing the game so much. I cannot wait for the game to come out fully and just dive into actual let's plays with you. It's going to be a lot of fun and I hope you all enjoyed this part. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up, write any questions you have below about the game and I will try to answer them as best as I can. I have played it twice now, big thank you to EA once again for that because that was an opportunity I never thought I'd get. and. I also want to give a really big thank you to you guys. I hit 40k subscribers recently, which is 40,000 people who decided to click subscribe on my channel and that is incredible. I have only been doing this for 8 months. I am still quite new, I am still learning and doing all these things, but you guys who watch my videos and I'm so glad they are entertaining to you. They, it's just unreal to me that 40,000 of you have even watched one of my videos or even part of one of my videos. Like, that's incredible. And I have you guys to thank for all these things that I've been receiving and all your comments constantly and all your support. And I honestly can't thank you enough. Like, this year has been probably the best year of my life so far and you, it's all down to you. You're the people who watch me and support me and that's awesome and I love you for that so so much. So keep on doing that because it makes me so happy inside. I'm also really excited to see where The Sims 4 takes this channel and takes us in our storytelling and let's plays and things like that. So thank you so much. I hope you're all excited as I am and I will speak to you with a Sims 4 video as soon as the game comes out in the UK. I will be recording and recording because I just want to hop into the game and I want you guys to experience it first with me. So I will definitely be doing that. So I will speak to you all then. Bye guys.